Hello and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, to Lovely. My name is Christina Lees. <laughs> Snoring behind me is this. It's Hayden, my foster. He's snoring. Um, she's very snorty. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be making a five minute vegan sticky and spicy uh, Indian masala chicken fingers. Uh, it's a very easy dish to make. I'm going to be using this Beyond Meat chicken strips. You can use any other sort of uh, replacement protein you prefer on uh, a different brand or you can make your own you can use seitan or tempeh or whatever the hell you want to use. Uh, this is very easy to do. I am going to start by adding, um, let's see, I'm going to start by adding, let's see, oh I don't have a measuring spoon, fuck, hold on, measuring spoon, all right, I am starting off with two tablespoons of garam masala, but more than two. I'm going to use a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Da -da. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, and I don't have that either. Hold on. Salt, teaspoon of salt. I'm going to use, oh my fucking god, I don't have a fucking measuring cup, hold on. Oh my goodness, this pink hair has gone to my head. I'm a ditz. All right, a third of a cup of sweet chili sauce. And hang on, it'll take me a minute to get this. Oh, it's going out fast, that's good. Okay, a third of a cup of that. I'm going to use two teaspoons of soy sauce. One, two teaspoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sriracha, I hear that TGIF is beginning to carry or is going to carry Beyond, Bur Beyond Meats Beyond Burger, that hamburger that bleeds beet juice. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty mainstream for a product like that. Um, I'm going to add a tablespoon of ketchup. And the juice of half of one lime. And I'm going to whisk it together. Juice of a lime. Whisking. What a mess. Garam masala everywhere. Hayden is very cute. She's at my feet. <gasps> I'll show you how adorable she is at my feet, just looking up at me adoringly. I like to think it's because she loves me, but really it's because I have food up here, probably. All right, hey, what you doing? All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, um, this is defrosted. I'm going to pour this marinade right into the bag with the chicken strips. And yes, I call them chicken. Um, it's a lot of, I get a lot of grief, I've complained before, but I get a lot of grief about calling things chicken, even though it says chicken right on the fucking bag here. Uh, also, some people who are vegetarian or vegan are very vocal about their disgust that anybody would even try to eat a meat replacing or meat, faux meat thing. I don't know why everybody thinks, or it's not everybody, but so many people think that the whole world needs to eat the way they do. Not everyone's vegan because they want to get healthy. Sometimes it's just, it's an ethical thing. And they, you know, some people don't cook. <laughs> Hopefully, the ones that don't cook find this show and become cooks. All right. So while that's sort of, you can let this marinate for as long as you want. I'm not going to let it marinate at all. I'm just going to mush it around. Probably can hear me talking because it's making a racket. I'm mushing it all around. Okay, the only marinating it's going to get is while the oil heats up. So, I'm going to heat up. Hey, guess what? I don't have any fucking oil. <laughs> right back. I'm using olive oil this time. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. Once I used sesame oil and got yelled at for using sesame oil. I understand that olive oil loses its nutritional benefits once it gets heated, but what are you going to do? All right. OMG, I don't have a spatula <laughs> to get it. Really having a hard time today. All right. Heat that up a little bit. And basically, this recipe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these chicken finger thingies 
in this oil until they're crispy on the outside. I would use my grill pan typically. My grill pan's a little bit warped. It doesn't heat the heat, heat doesn't hit the heat element of this particular little burner thing properly and it never gets hot enough. So I'm gonna do it in a flat pan here. But if you have a grill pan or a griddle pan, that is better for this pro, uh, for this recipe. Especially if you have a grill pan so you can get little grill marks. The Beyond Meat has little grill marks on it, but it's nice to get actual real ones on there. All right. Just don't put it all in there. Mwah. Yep. Hey, Aiden, what's she doing? She's very adorable. So, yeah, really, you don't have to even watch me do this. I'm going to cook these down. And when all the sauce is sort of burnt onto or cooked onto these little chicken guys, I'm going to garnish it, put them on a plate, and garnish it with scallions and sesame seeds. And that is it. That's really it. So as long as this takes, if it takes five minutes to cook this down, which it probably won't, that is it. And I'll show you what they look like when you garnish them. Right? They're really good. So that is it. I'm not going to bother uh, you to make this. I'm not going to make you watch these just cook. It's uneventful. Uh, and that is it. Really, the recipe is the marinade, which I didn't even let it marinate in, as you saw. So uh, that is it. Thank you for coming. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, my, my Instagram and my Twitter handles are here. I post lots more stuff there than just food. I post dogs and my career. And speaking of my career, I'm pretty excited. I've seen the I've seen the trailer for the new Chucky movie, Cult of Chucky. Looks looks really really good. I saw uh, Curse of Chucky in a screening in LA here when it came out, and I was very happy to see it return to the really genuinely scary horror roots of its past or its roots. Roots and pets are redundant. Uh, the new one looks really great, so I'm excited to see it. It comes out on October third, and. Uh, yeah, it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, and it will be on Netflix, too, so you can stream it at home. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. I like the new Chucky, too. I change him a little bit each time. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's it. Thank you for coming. Until next time. Bye-bye.